Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey with the World Floor Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. And this week on The Lead Story, I want to continue with this thought of the impact of your words. I also want you to understand that words are not always spoken when they have an impact. Sometimes it can be simply someone reading your body language, or it might be a note that you've written. I want to tell you a story. There's a fifth grade teacher, a math teacher, we'll call her Mrs. Smith. And one day her class was just unruly. It was obvious they weren't going to get anything out of the math concept that day. So she decided to do a little exercise with them. She had them each take out two sheets of paper and write the name of every other classmate, skipping a line in between on those two pages. And then she had them go back in the time that was remaining and write the most positive thing they could think of about each person in the line underneath their name. That took the rest of the class, and she took those from them as they left the class, went home and transcribed them all onto one sheet. So she took everything said about John Smith, for instance, and put all of his on one sheet. That way, nobody could read the handwriting and kind of determine who said what. The next day, she handed them back out to the class, and she said, it was amazing the impact that it had. Now, these are fifth graders, right? So you think, well, it's not a big deal, but it was. There were people making comments like, I had no idea that I meant that to anybody or that anybody looked up to me. I didn't know that people thought this about me. And the rest of the class, that's all they talked about. After that, often they would come back and see Mrs. Smith and hang out with her. And she didn't see them then after they graduated high school until one day she got a call from the parents of one of the boys who had been in that class. He had died in Vietnam. And they asked her if she could come to the funeral service, and she did. She said she was amazed as she looked in the casket at this beautiful young man and hoped that his life had had an impact, like it had impacted her as the teacher. As she turned to walk away, the parents came up to her and said, Hey, listen, Mrs. Smith, we found something on our son that we think may have come from you, and we wondered if you could identify it. When his body was found, they found this sheet of paper in his wallet. And they pulled out a piece of paper, one page, that had been taped together and taped together and taped together again. And it was the page of affirmations from all of his classmates in the fifth grade. They said, did you do this? And she said, yeah, I did. They said, he always talked so positively about you and how this meant so much to him in the downtimes in his life. And as she's talking to the parents, several of the other classmates who were in that same class came up and even a wife of one of the classmates said, hey, my, my husband loved this so much that he had us put it in the wedding album. And another boy said, I keep mine in the top drawer next to my bed. And a young lady had her purse with her and she pulled hers out again, all taped together, tethered, but taped together. She talked about the impact of that class and what it had meant to her. You never know what your words will mean. You never know the impact that they will have or if somebody just needs to hear it at that moment. Miss Betty Mosteller is a dear friend of mine, somebody I've looked up to much of my life, and she is not able to come to our church anymore. And yet every time that I'm in front of the church, if I sing, she always sends a note of encouragement to me to tell me how much she appreciated what I did. I can tell you, I look forward to those notes and I've collected and kept them over the years. Sometimes you just need to look back and see that you mattered, that you had an impact. I want you to know as leaders, the power of your words, but also the power of the written notes. And I hope you'll take the time to, to send a note to somebody once a week and just tell them what they mean to you and how they've encouraged you and the impact that they've had on your life even if there's someone that works for you, not someone who has mentored you. Your story matters. It really does. So go out there and live the story that you want other people to tell.